Alright, you welcome everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Gene Santos and today I am going to show you how to make custom item NPCs. And with that I mean this here. First of all, Mr. Like the video very much, please. And as you can see with this good fella right here, we can trade some sand for a coin and one coin we can trade in for this. Yes. Now you can make everything you want with the custom items, doesn't matter if it's a sword, if it's an item, if it's a consumable, doesn't matter. Um, it's all practically the same. First off, we're not gonna do this inside of Minecraft cell, uh, itself because of the command. The command, as you can see, is ludicrously long and uh, we're not gonna type that. We're not gonna type that. You see this? This is, this is not something you want. So, what are we gonna do? We're, going, we're gonna go towards a website. The website is mcstacker.net. Link will be in the description. This is a tool you can use with all of your command blocks and it's really useful. Now, at first it might look a little bit intimidating, but it's really easy. Rest assured, I'll, uh, I'll explain it to you. Page, there we go. MC Stacker. You're gonna get here on this website and you're gonna press the slash summon button. And then you get, get this screen in front of you over here. Now, what are we gonna do? First of all, to the top left is entity. At the entity, we are going to put a villager. Well, you can do every entity you want in this pro program, but for now, we're just gonna do the villager because those can trade. Now, the summon coordinates is where we want to summon him. We don't need to fill that in. Now, first of all, the custom name. That's right here. We have got custom name visible. We put that to, to true and then custom name to show. And here we can put in the name of the dude. The dude, as you can see. Now we can change the color of it to dark gray, put it on bold, put it on italic, put it on underline, put it on strike through. If you do obfuscate it, then it's going to be a wild mumble jumble of characters. Uh, active effects right here is going to give him the active effects uh, for buffs, for slowness, for jump boost, it's gonna give it to him. Uh, right here we have the holding offhand head, body, leg and boots. Over there you can put in the equipment that he has to wear. Next up the profession. The profession is also useful because you can change the skin of the villager you want. Now we're gonna put this one to librarian. Now uh, we want to put the level on 99. You want to do that so that the trade can actually start working. Uh, I don't know why but if you put a level on something else then the trades won't work. So put the level on 99. Now for the trades. Right here you can see the trades, we're gonna press plus. And here is the very first trade we can do. Now, first off you have two times a buy. We have buy and buy B. This is the items you need to give to the villager so that he can give a, uh, an item back. Now for right here we're going to put in sand. Very easy, just, just sand. Just sand and that's it. Now he will accept sand for a trade. And he's going to give us back a sunflower. And the, the sunflower is just because it looks like a coin. You can put every item here, whatever you want. And the sunflower we're going to name coin. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Uh, you can put some colors, you can put some italic, but this is now a currency. This is our coin and th this we can use in multiple trades. And as you can see, if we put it in the command block and summon him, there we go, the dude, and he, sell and he buys sand for coins. Fantastic. Now, heading back. Now to actually make custom items for him, we, we're going to press trade again. And then we have another one right here. Now we're going to use the buy here where we had sand. So he's going to want this item. We're just going to copy the sunflower coin right here. And we're going to paste that right here. Now he will accept a sunflower coin and give us something in return. If you put some, an item in here, then you need a second item to go with it to actually accept the trade. We don't need it for now, so we're just going to go ahead and go to the cell. Now, we're going to make the most OP weapon Minecraft has ever seen, all right? So we're going to put in, uh, let's see, let's do a stick. Let's do a stick right there. We have a stick and we're going to make this the most OP weapon in Minecraft. Yes, trust me. We're gonna name him. Frederick, of course, of course. And the color of Frederick is going to be gold and bold. Bold and gold, always fine. And over here, you have the name, and that's just going to be the name of the item. You have lore, which is going to be the description of the item. So we can just put in here, um, best friend of the gene. And now he has a description under his name. To actually make the weapon stronger, we have over here, we have the enchantments. Now, of course, a stick can't have enchantments, I know that. But uh, you can put all of the enchantments either way just on there. We're not gonna do that because it has no effect. 
Uh, but for a weapon or for some armor, you can put enchantments on here. Under the enchantments head, you can, you can put the glints only, so that he does get the glint. Now to modifiers, we're gonna put an attribute modifier, and we're gonna give him some attack damage. Now we're gonna give him a... How about, uh, about 2,000? 2,000, is that enough to uh, one-hit a dragon? Probably, right? And we're gonna put it on main hand here. And this means that the stick is gonna get 2,000 attack damage. Uh, we, you, we can put another one in there, uh, which gives us max health, knockback resistance, uh, armor, movement speed, you name it. And with this you can create custom items and sell them in a shop. You can mess around with all the att attributes and the modifiers and with this you can just create armor sets and new weapons from items that don't, don't even exist. Let's see, let's make a consumable item as well. We'll put in another trade right here. Now first the villager is going to want to get the coins from, for the consumables, right? So we're gonna press paste again and then the sunflower coin is here again. Now we're gonna sell over here, let's do a... Uh, Let's do a suspicious too. And we're gonna name it. Just gonna go for no don't drink this because uh, we're gonna make it poisonous, of course. But we're gonna put it on obfuscated. So that's gonna be on true. Now for the lore, you can also put something in again. And then right here you can place the effects of the item. Then we, uh, we're gonna give him regeneration for 200 seconds, invisibility for 15 seconds. Be sure to press seconds here instead of the ticks. And now we also have another consumable in the shop. Now for a little bit of a bonus content, right here to the bottom left you have passengers. Now this is what um, MC Stacker originally was. It was stacking NPCs. So we're gonna go here to passengers and we're gonna put a cow on there. Just, just a cow and that's it, right? Now, over here you can see our command output. This is the command we need to summon our villager. We're gonna copy that, we're gonna go back to Minecraft. I'm gonna put it in the command block. We're gonna summon him. And there, and there he is. Look at him. Fantastic, he has a cow on his head. He buys sand for a coin and then he sells Frederick, as you can see here, fantastic, for a coin as well. And for one coin you can also get this. Put, it, put in some sand, get some coins. And now we can buy Frederick. Let's see if he one hits a dragon. Okay, okay, I moved a little bit out of the way. Let's see if Frederick can kill a dragon. Okay, there the dragon is. Chop! First try! How about that? <laughs> Another boss finished! <laughs> Alrighty then, Frederick can one hit a dragon. Now if that isn't overpowered then I don't know what is. And that's how you make a custom item NPC shop. Now you can mess around with the MC stacker to make multiple sorts of items and mess around with all of the different summons you can do. Uh, but th these are the basics. I hope you have learned something from this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty. Bye-bye.